when we go into volume production next year. The Tesla Semi's move from speculation to reality is now confirmed. Set for mass production in 2024, laying to rest concerns about its production challenges. Official word also unveils a limited initial quantity of 100 units, intended primarily for integration into PepsiCo's vehicle fleet. Meanwhile, Giga Nevada assumes a pivotal role, gearing up for high productivity by concurrently churning out the cutting-edge 4680 cells and electric trucks. This convergence of manufacturing prowess raises anticipation for forthcoming improvements in the next iteration of the Tesla Semi. The unveiling of this groundbreaking development, particularly insights shared by insiders, begs the question, how did these insiders reveal the unveiling of the Tesla Semi? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Tesla is picking up the pace with the Cybertruck. Recently, 63 new pickups were shown in Giga Texas. This marks the first time such a large quantity has been observed, possibly setting a record for the number discovered. It wouldn't be surprising if a similar scenario unfolds for the Tesla Semi in 2024 as many secrets have gradually been revealed. What does the Tesla Semi promise after being confirmed for mass production in 2024? We have a you know close to 100 semis on our fleet now, and that they're doing that run, and we're you know working with um, Pepsi as well to just understand the durability and get it right. The Tesla Semi, Tesla's all-electric truck, initiated its first deliveries to commercial companies at the end of 2022, and more than a year has passed since then. Notably, only one customer has received the trucks so far, and that customer is PepsiCo. Little is known about the progress of the Tesla Semi over the past year, and Tesla has not provided detailed information in recent earnings calls. Fortunately, on a winter day before 2023 ended, Lars Moravi and Tesla's chief designer Franz von Holzhausen appeared on an episode of Jay Leno's Garage, where they discussed the Cybertruck that Jay Leno had purchased. They delved into its features and performance on the road and off-road. However, the conversation quickly shifted to other Tesla projects including the Tesla Semi. Looking back at Jay Leno's previous test drive episode of the Tesla Semi, we gained valuable information about the Semi rig, which was previously undisclosed. For instance, we now know that the payload capacity is 70,000 pounds, comprising two Tesla Semis and one trailer. From this, we can easily calculate that each Tesla Semi weighs approximately 26,150 pounds, as the trailer is specified to weigh 17,750 pounds. Dan Priestley also added that the Tesla Semi could achieve 1,500 horsepower, but the manufacturer dialed it down to ensure durability and tire savings. Additionally, it utilizes a brake-by-wire system commonly found in Europe. In this episode, we also learned that the Tesla Semi has a turning radius similar to that of the Model 3 or Y. Advanced technology adjustments are expected in the 2024 version, including a low-voltage system of 48 volts instead of the current 12, along with other various improvements. According to the latest confirmation from Tesla's Vice President of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Meravi, the Tesla Semi team has developed nearly 100 units from the initial production until now. The quantity of semi rigs seems to be currently delayed. As analyzed earlier, this delay may be attributed to Tesla's production capacity constraints and the manufacturer is taking additional time to perfect the research and development process for the Tesla Semi nighttime version, also known as Sleeper Cab. There's a prevailing notion that Elon Musk isn't particularly serious about the Tesla Semi. This perception stems from the fact that a year has elapsed since the initial delivery event of the Tesla Semi, and the company has seemingly adopted a lackadaisical approach to advancing this line of trucks. However, when talking to Jay Leno, Lars Moravi shared that they have worked closely with PepsiCo to ensure readiness for mass production of the Tesla Semi in 2024. This is true to what Elon Musk once shared, that the manufacturer will not be able to produce big right from the beginning of the year, but will not be able to start until the end of the year. Presently, with Musk taking notice of Tesla's existing production landscape, the projected output for the current electric truck has shifted. Initially stated at 50,000 units, it appears this figure might have been revised downward. 
potentially falling between 10 to 15,000 units. Furthermore, this revised target is unlikely to be fulfilled until close to the conclusion of 2025. Tesla will reach a stronger pace, possibly in 2026, when Musk can expand the Tesla semi-production line to Giga Mexico because this factory is 1.4 times larger than the Nevada factory with 4,200 acres. For the Tesla semi, things are more complicated because electric trucks do not have a dedicated production line. The current manufacturing facility near Giga Nevada is only suitable for small batch production. In other words, the semi is assembled by hand. Through the new episode, Lars Morvey also gave some special information about the initial ideas of this vehicle line, such as using batteries in the back of the trailer, but later found a more effective solution. And that's why the rig achieved a distance of 500 miles, or a record of 10 of 1,076 miles that shocked the U.S. transportation industry. This is also a record that has created more love for customers for this electric truck. How will electric trucks develop in the U.S. in the next decade? Speculation suggests that approximately 4,000 paid orders for the Tesla Semi remain pending delivery, prompting consistent pressure on Tesla to ramp up production. This urgency aligns with the broader goal of curbing emissions and transitioning towards sustainable energy. Beyond just big rigs, electric trucks are emerging as a promising solution for on-road transportation, notably outshining its diesel counterparts. The advantages of electric trucks become strikingly evident, particularly on highways, especially in precarious scenarios where diesel trucks struggle to navigate uphill climbs at speeds ranging from 20 to 30 miles per hour. A specific figure shows the outstanding ability of electric trucks in this situation. While diesel trucks have difficulty facing steep grades, electric Electric trucks are capable of reaching speeds of up to 80 miles per hour on slopes of 6 to 7 percent. This makes electric trucks a safer and more efficient option, especially compared to ICE trucks. A particularly important point is that electric trucks are not only able to overcome steep roads, but also maintain a stable speed, something diesel trucks cannot do. This difference not only provides high operating performance, but also reduces the risk of accidents, especially on highways. Therefore, electric trucks are not only a technological advancement, but also a safe and effective solution for transportation needs on difficult terrain. Envisioning the U.S. transportation industry a decade from now, should the widespread shift to electric trucks from diesel trucks occur, can be encapsulated in the concept of five reductions. This transformation foresees a landscape marked by decreased noise levels, diminished emissions, lowered operational costs, reduced stress for drivers, and a decline in road accidents. Today, long-haul electric trucks are estimated to save money on fuel nearly 43% better than diesel trucks, and could be up to 50% cheaper to own by 2030, when the electric truck market competes more fiercely than at present. For example, over the same 200-mile delivery route, a motor truck driver would typically pay $142 for 34 gallons at about 5.9 miles per gallon. Meanwhile, the Tesla Semi consumes 2 kilowatt hours per mile, so we need 400 kilowatt hours to go that route. According to our research, the electricity price in California is 20 cents per kilowatt hour, meaning PepsiCo drivers only have to pay about $80 for this 200-mile delivery. If the semi or electric truck fleet systems are popular in the future, operating costs will no longer be an issue in the next decade. Diesel will always be many times more expensive than electricity, and this fuel is also more susceptible to price fluctuations because the large supply comes from abroad. In the next 10 years, the electric transportation industry will completely compete fiercely when we see a series of large truck companies specializing in producing traditional fuel trucks, such as Volvo, Daimler, Kenworth, Picard, and Mercedes gradually switch to the trend of producing electric trucks. Compared to any competitor, the Tesla Semi is truly an outstanding breakthrough in the electric truck industry. However, what is interesting is not only about product quality, but also about the consistent and strong investment from large businesses in the US, especially in the Americas recently. 
The commitment to electric trucks has resulted in billions of dollars being invested in transforming transportation systems. The largest commercial transportation companies in the US are not only partners but also active investors, accepting billions of dollars in investments to convert their routes to electric trucks, with PepsiCo being the most typical example. This action is not only an expression of attention to the environment but also an awareness of the sustainability and efficiency of electric truck technology. American city roads today are frequently invaded by the annoying sound of truck engines, but can we imagine a city where the sounds of life are no longer disturbed by incessant engine noise? If electric trucks are not just a temporary trend but a major transformation, this is an extremely necessary step forward in the development of urban transportation. Currently, people in the city are getting used to unwanted noise, and electric trucks can create a more peaceful living environment, not only making life on the daily an easier experience, but also helping improve mental and physical health. It's important to recognize that the average age of today's American truck drivers is 65 years old, and they have to deal not only with the pressures of hard work, but also with the inevitable noise of their engines. This not only makes the job more difficult, but also makes it difficult to attract young talent to the profession. The Tesla Semi, with the mission to change this landscape, has continuously improved the drive noise reduction system, reducing operating noise by up to 99%. Attention to detail and the support of technology have created a driving experience that is not only healthier for the driver but also for the surrounding community. If electric trucks become more prevalent, they will not only alleviate the solitude for elderly drivers, but also provide an opportunity for the younger generation to enter the profession without facing the challenges of engine noise. This is not just a step forward in improving the quality of urban life, but also an opportunity to build a future of safe and sustainable transportation. In 2019, the world witnessed a groundbreaking development in the transportation and electric vehicle sector, as the Tesla Semi officially entered the delivery race alongside its unique cargo, the legendary pickup truck Cybertruck. This event served as a distinctive showcase of Tesla's technology. The Tesla Semi, boasting a range of 500 miles and a substantial payload capacity of 82,000 pounds, promises to be a reliable companion for the Cybertruck. Both vehicles share the 800-volt architecture, optimizing charge efficiency and ensuring safety during transportation with numerous surrounding cameras. By integrating advanced features such as sensors, radars, and cameras, the Tesla Semi and Cybertruck aim to make the delivery process more efficient and secure. The transport capabilities of the Tesla Semi and the robustness of the Cybertruck are an ideal combination to meet the increased demands for deliveries in the future. The high efficiency and low operating costs of EVs will help alleviate pressure on the transportation industry while simultaneously reducing greenhouse gas emissions into the environment. An intelligent management system will connect the Tesla Semi and Cybertruck, optimizing routes and delivery times. This helps minimize traffic congestion and ensures that goods arrive on schedule. The integration of renewable energy in the transportation process is also a crucial part of Tesla's sustainability strategy. Overall, the combination of the Tesla Semi and Cybertruck is not only a robust advancement in the automotive and transportation industry, but also serves as a reflection of Tesla's commitment to a green and sustainable future. Despite already establishing a significant market advantage, it is noteworthy that over a year since the unveiling of the Tesla Semi and its subsequent delivery event, Tesla continues to approach production with caution. The latest information confirms that their semi-truck fleet has surpassed the 100-unit mark. Concurrently, Tesla is aggressively expanding its manufacturing facility in Giga Nevada to accommodate the production of a larger number of semi-trucks, with the goal of securing a substantial share in this market. This demonstrates their strong commitment and determination in shaping the future of the transportation industry. The Tesla Semi, while not a conventional vehicle, plays an important role in promoting the transition to renewable energy. Morovi emphasized that after more than a year of development, the Tesla Semi will likely make a big leap leap into production next year, and this could have a major impact on the Class A truck industry, helping significantly reduce emissions when Class A trucks make up only 1% of vehicles in the United States, but they contribute 20% of U.S. vehicle emissions and 36% of U.S. vehicle particulate emissions. Converting the Class 8 industry to electric could then bring significant environmental benefits. Thanks to PepsiCo using Tesla Semi 12 hours a day, this food company has provided 
provided important data to help Tesla evaluate durability and preparation for mass production next year. If everything goes according to plan, the EV manufacturer is confident it can produce 30,000 pickup trucks per year by 2027. This volume may not sound like much, but it is enough to make Tesla the largest electric truck manufacturer in the United States. So, what do you think of the US transportation industry completely transitioning to the trend of using electric trucks next year? And how do you believe Tesla will develop this rig in 2024 to create a significant turning point, a game changer if you will? Let us know in the comments section down below, we always value your opinion. If this video rocked your world, show us some love by hitting that like button, subscribing for more thrilling content, spreading the word, and ringing that bell icon to stay updated on our latest episodes. Thank you immensely. Until we meet again, stay safe, take care, and happy holidays.